Calculate the angle theta in each triangle. Label the sides of the triangle. We know the adjacent and hypotenuse, so let's use the cosine ratio to find the unknown angle. The adjacent side is 36 centimeters, and the hypotenuse is 47 centimeters. Divide to get 0 0.7660. In order to get the angle theta, use the inverse cosine feature of your calculator. On a TA-8384, this is the second function of the cosine button. If you type in second, cosine, 0 0.7660, you will get the angle 40 degrees. Note that the calculator must be in degree mode for this to work. Press the mode button and look at the third row. Make sure degree is highlighted. The answer is 40 degrees. Now we'll move on to part B. Label the sides of the triangle. We know the opposite and adjacent sides, so let's use the tangent ratio to solve for the unknown angle. The opposite side is 87 centimeters, and the adjacent side is 26 centimeters. Divide to get 3.3462. Use inverse tan to get the angle 73 degrees. Now we'll move on to part C. All of the angles in a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Since we know two of the three angles in the triangle, we can use this as a shortcut. The unknown angle, plus 90 degrees, plus 73.74 degrees, equals 180 degrees. Take 73.74 degrees and 90 degrees to the other side of the equation and change their signs. Perform the arithmetic to get the angle 16.26 degrees. Now we'll move on to part D. Label each side of the triangle. We know the opposite and hypotenuse, so let's use the sine ratio to get the unknown angle. The opposite side is 50 centimeters, and the hypotenuse is 68 centimeters. Divide to get 0 0.7353. Use inverse sine to get the angle 47 degrees.